Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the founder and director of Goldman and Associates. We specialize in family law, but of course, uh, we have subspecialties in criminal and injury work as well. Uh, please subscribe to our channel so you can find out valuable information about all that we do. Um, today, I want to discuss uh, an, an interesting topic that comes up a lot how to succeed co parenting with an extremely difficult and perhaps pathological person on the other side. How do you do it? How do you co parent successfully when? Every time you call, uh, he starts screaming at you. Um, every time you try to have communication, she blows up and it becomes an apocalyptic reaction for no reason. How do you do it? Well, I want to tell you this. First of all, if you are in that incendiary situation where the, the slightest communication blows up, you should obviously limit your communication to electronic format. Um, resist the temptation to have uh, personal confrontations and call on the phone, send a text, send an email. Um, the reason why you want to do that is because if you get this vituperative response, at least you have it documented, you can show it to the court. Um, certain family courts have things set up like the Family Wizard and other types of uh, platforms that parents can communicate on to keep things appropriate and non-abusive and you should definitely try to do that now another thing though is let's say it doesn't your it doesn't lend itself to that kind of communication or let's say you're forced into um, personal uh, communication because of circumstances or whatnot you have to realize one thing we at the firm offer expertise in the law but you are the country's leading expert in your acts you know what presses his buttons. You know what drives her crazy. So in order to avoid the, the huge uh, flare up, don't press the buttons. Steer clear of those areas that are incendiary in your relationship. Avoid the toxicity of that. And just focus your, your communication specifically on the kids. What time is the pickup today? Um, don't fall into the trap. Well, you're always late, so I don't know. Just repeat. And what time is the pickup today? And as you avoid that, and you simply focus on the information that you need to get, like what time that pickup is, eventually you'll get a number. And the number will be 6.15, 6.30. Very well, I'll see you then. Click. That's how that communication should go. Don't allow yourself to be pulled into it. Because the minute you allow yourself to be pulled back into the drama, all of a sudden, you know, you're feeding into their hand. Uh, you, you may get uh, out of line, you may say something because of uh, a temper flare-up that, that will hurt you in the long run. Do not engage. Do not get involved in that. Don't let them drag you into the mud. Focus on what you want to know. Repeat it. Ask it again. If you hear some crazy comment, say again. So what time do you want the pickup to be? You know, as an example, if you do that, your likelihood of being able to have more successful communication is dramatically improved and eventually the other person will realize you can't be drawn in and the communication will begin to be focused on productive things, not the, the garbage that you've had in the past. If you're in that situation and you need guidance on that, call today and we'll be glad to help you out.